What up, YouTube? We got here uh, a fluorescent tube light that you get normally in your tank, standard um, on my 55-gallon tank here. Let me show you really quickly what the light looks like with your standard fluorescent tubing. This is your natural light that you get. It's date natural daytime, and I'm going to be switching it over from your fluorescent tube to your LED, which is super easy, super cheap. I bought all the parts on eBay here, and uh, let me show you how easy it is and how quick it is. So, take the tube out, unbutton a couple screws here. Now, everybody's tank hood light might be different, so kind of got to look at your own and see what you got. This is a standard Marine Line one that I bought. So I'll pop off the screws here. We got four screws here. Take all these little bits out. And then my, the white piece that covers it that shines the light off, we flip her open. Um, we're going to have our ballast here and a standard starter that comes with most of your fluorescent tubes. I'm just going to go ahead, pop all these pieces out. We take all those bits out. And the other side. And then you unscrew your ballast. A little tedious, but we'll get her off. So, take that off. Once you got her bass and all her bits off, put that aside for now. Uh, so, we got here what is a LED driver. It's pretty much changing it from uh, a standard Canadian uh, 120 to 12 volt power. Just in and out. Like I said, I bought this piece for five bucks on eBay. Great little thing, and it happens to fit perfectly in my standard slot where the ballast was. So we're going to go ahead and put that in. And I'll quickly show you guys how to wire it up. So pop her in. Other side. I might have to do a little bit of adjusting. It just happens to fit in the space that the old ballast was in. Not all of them will, but uh, this one, luckily enough, it happened to fit. So, I'm just going to drop that in there. So, quickly for now. So, we got ourselves your power for your LED, which is your 12-volt power, your ground. I got this LED bar that I got also from eBay. Ten bucks. I got two of them because my tank happens to have two LEDs, uh, two LED hoods or hoods. So, I got two of them for 20 bucks. Same thing, has power and ground. Go ahead and plug that in there. I'm just going to do it quickly to show you that we got some power. Put a little butt connector on that or a little wrap. Get that out of the way. We'll fasten that up and get that out of the way for now. And then you got yourself on your driver, you have a neutral and your live wire, which is for your 120. And in this case, we happen to have a little tiny switch on the back of our um, our tank hood, which I'm just, I want to use and I want to keep that running. So, I'm going to go ahead and take off your neutral marat and your power marat. Move it out of the way. So you got, these are your, li your live lines that come from your house outlet. And this is your switch line. So, we're just going to go ahead and take off our ballast and our starter pieces that were connected to it because this is our out. We don't need that. We don't need all these bits and pieces. Get rid of that. And then we're going to go ahead and connect. <clears throat> on, our, on our 120 volt, we have your, you leave your starter wiring and you can leave that right in, which is your, sorry, your live power. Leave that one connected. Your neutral will go directly to your neutral on your LED or on your LED driver. Put a little more red on that for now. Twist her on. And then your live power that's coming, we got your live from your house outlet into the switch. And then from out of the switch, it's going to go here to our starter driver, or our LED driver. Give it a twist on for now. Just quickly showing you guys. Button it up and make it look prettier after. So that uh, looks really nice. We'll give it a quick plug in. And like I said, you go ahead, hit the switch. 
And instant LEDs. Super bright, nice cool white LEDs. Once we got all that done, I'm going to turn off the lights for now. Once we got that all done, go ahead, but once we button all that stuff back up, click our assembly back in. And it comes actually with two metal fasteners, these little tie downs, and that in this kit that I grabbed. Simple little screw in the back, it'll click right onto the back of our LED here. We're going to go ahead and screw that right down. And I'll be able to, uh, I will post a, a video real quick of uh, what it looks like in the tank. Honestly, it looks a lot better. Cool White's really, really nice. Those are the clips I'm, I've been using. And uh, hope you guys can get your own out there. It's, it, honestly, this whole kit cost me about 15 bucks all in. Two tank lights, $30. A lot cheaper than buying those aftermarket uh, or those ones that they sell at the pet store for like $400. Those are crazy. And this is going to give you a lot of light. Thanks for watching.